house and I want to introduce you to a patient of ours, Derwood. Derwood's in our um, peripheral neuropathy program and uh, why don't you just talk about um, you know some of the issues you're having specifically we start with the symptoms you're having and then your driving issues. Yeah the main problem I have you know it's like a prolonged time uh, legs are numb and from the knee down you know it just gets number and number till you get bottom of your feet you know that that uh, that's really numb and kind of tingly and and get to the point you know where you just don't uh, feel had to quit driving because uh, you don't feel like you have really control of that of the brake on there the longer you set it stop light the, the more that uh, that you don't feel it like you should and have to do something about that. I need to drive. <laughs> well, I mean, you could still drive, but you just didn't feel it was safe to drive. Yeah, right. <clears throat> so that's why you did. You know, you gave that up. And the other thing is, you know, like when you're talking about the symptoms of peripheral neuropathy, you know, peripheral neuropathy is usually from the knees down. And then we talked about you start getting a little bit in your hands too. So once that happens, then that's starting in polyneuropathy. Yeah. Um, that feels different. Yeah. From left hand to right hand. Right, yeah. yeah. And so, so it's starting to spread, and so that's why you just got it. So this is your, we just did the examination, you just got in the program, we're doing the, the uh, labs, and then we um, uh, did your, your first treatment today with the oxygen and the neurological treatments and stuff. So anyway, we're just going to kind of follow your progress and, and, and see how you do. The main thing is want to get you doing better so you can get driving again. <laughs> right. And, but the other thing is that... Um, <clears throat> when we did the testing on you we found that you had a problem with the cerebellum cerebellum has to do with coordination <clears throat> balance eye movement and the spinal muscles from the skull sacrum so the big thing is you're seeing is your coordination and your balance and part of the reason you're using the cane is because you're balancing and because you can't feel the bottom of your feet so you're not real steady on that you know <clears throat> and we want to work on that but kind of talk about that about you know, what it's like, like when you get up out of the chair and you're walking around, I mean, what does yeah, it feel like? It, well, if you sit there, sit in one place quite a while, and uh, and you get up, you you feel like it takes you a little while to for your balance. And uh, I keep this cane mainly for confidence. Right, yeah. <laughs> I have fallen time or two through the last month, several months, mm -hmm. you know. And, and, and the, when you fell, it's because you know you couldn't feel your feet and, and you had your foot a little side I mean you, you know you, you just didn't fall standing there and fell and <laughs> fall I mean there was a reason right Right. yeah okay all right and so the, and there's different fibers that affect and we did this when we did the examination on you remember that yeah that it, and some patients um, have severe burning they feel like they got a torch on the bottom of the feet I mean even when they go to sleep sometimes they'll wake them up they can feel like they have pins and needles um, but yours is more burning and numbness right. and not really feeling, which is a proprioception, which is the sensory nerves in your feet that tell your feet where they're at. And so if you can't tell where they're at and you got your foot like this and you try to walk, that's why you're losing your balance. Yeah. So you have the cane just to help with that. Yeah, right. As far as any other symptoms with that, was there anything else that you can think of? Mm, not really I, that I know of. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> reading on your chart there can't find the right words there once while you know it's like like a, you know a word but but it just doesn't come out for yeah. some reason <laughs> and that has to do with the cerebellum brain and that's why we're getting your brain on yeah. oxygen while you're doing that yeah right. so there's other things that that you were going on with you that you didn't even realize was related to this and so that's right. why we had all the the paperwork and I mean the paperwork was very comprehensive uh, I know there's a lot of questions, on, but we got to make sure that you're a candidate here, right. and you had all the markers and parameters, so you were a candidate, and that's why we're moving forward now. So, this is just a baseline video, I mean, because you just had your first treatment today. Right. So we'll follow up in a couple months, and uh, <clears throat> and Derwood was uh, a patient here, probably <clears throat> 2009, I think it was, Something when you like had that. three <clears throat> herniated discs in your lower back. His wife would have to drop him off. Uh, we would go get a wheelchair because you couldn't walk, you right. couldn't bend. Couldn't, we had to help you get up on the table. We did the decompression, and you've done fantastic. And it's been great, and then all of a sudden this uh, peripheral neuropathy Yeah, started. this kind of come along a little at a time, a little at a time, you know, till 
feel like we were talking, you know, finally got to the point there that, that to do that feeling in my feet, I just, uh, I don't think it's safe to drive. Yeah. Especially around town. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. A lot of stoplights. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, stoplights are not good on that. Um, right. Because you can't feel your foot and right. after you do it for a while. Well, and there's that rush, you, you know, you just brought up about there was this Russian hockey team that played in the KHL. <clears throat> and um, uh, they found out that the, tell them what, it was on the, the uh, what was it on the? It was. Smithsonian. And the right? Smithsonian uh, channel has a program called. Uh, uh, air disasters, mm-hmm. and it was on one of one of those shows, and mm-hmm. and uh, and I, if you wanted to find that, I, you might have to get on there, uh, uh, deal on the, on your computer and yeah, and, that, and see if they if they sell those. Yeah, but but the main, you know, the deal. main thing that it seemed like this guy, one of the pilots, had his foot on the, on the brake while they were trying to take off. And he, he didn't, re- didn't even realize it. Yeah. Yeah. And they found out that he had peripheral and it neuropathy. Like, uh, well, I, I would think that was what it was. They didn't yeah. say that for sure. Mm-hmm. But, but he had his foot on the brake. He didn't realize he had his foot on the brake, and they didn't get enough air. They got up, but not high enough, and they crashed. You know? Yeah, so, right. Yeah. So that probably confirmed, like, okay, I don't want to be driving until I get this stuff straightened out. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to check in with Durwood after about two or three months to see how he's doing, and uh, we'll follow his progress. So if you know anybody that's, that's having any problem um, with peripheral neuropathy, um, we have a YouTube channel. And um, you can go to our website, Roadhouse Chiropractic, um, get some information. Uh, you can call the office at 918-481-2770 if you want any more information. Or if you want to do a short over-the-phone consultation, it takes us a couple minutes, and we can have a pretty good idea whether you need to be seen or not. Um, and uh, so anyway, uh, we'll follow your progress, and thanks for doing